This is the fourth of the five gill kits in Ravnica. Uh, the Raf uh, the, uh, the Ravnica gill kits that just came out. Uh, these are the five guilds in Guilt of Ravnica. There will be another set of five when Allegiances releases. 30, 20, 19. I love these. Uh, if, you're if you're watching these out of a playlist, this will be the fourth one in that playlist. If not, I, uh, I think you would have fun looking at all the other ones in the playlist that I have for them. And, uh, yeah, I was only going to buy uh, Boros and Celestia and then maybe get the others later. Uh, I went into Target. I was looking at them. Oh, yeah, maybe. Then I started looking at the uh, card lists uh, on MTG Goldfish. Been really busy cracking Force of Will packs, so I didn't pay attention to this product. Uh, it was worth pre-ordering. I didn't. But I did end up uh, getting it from uh, Sports and More. I got all five for 80 bucks. Uh, this is my favorite one, I think, of all the uh, the D20s. The um, the one for it set looks really cool. I think red and blue looks really good. That's a beautiful D20. Okay, the uh, things that it come that each one comes with are very pretty. I really admire. Uh, the, the care and the detail that goes into every one of these products. I think the all five kill kits are a total home run from, from Wizards. I really, really, really want these to be reprinted into Oblivion. I think new players should get these. Uh, if, you have, if you don't have enough money, if you're a, a poor student like I used to be, then maybe just get one and pick, pick the one that you like. I'm not going to tell you, oh, Get the Celestia one because it's got the biggest money card. Don't play that game. Buy something you're going to play and you're going to enjoy. Anyways, great care was taken to make these. Uh, they're just beautiful. I, I love these these uh, uh, these add-ons. And I'm going to keep them. Because I'm building a gigantic uh, Ravnica Mega Cube that will take me many years to finish. I don't know if I'll ever finish it. Anyway, so this is the deck list. Uh, it tells you which one of the Ravnicas, one, two, or three, the card came from, even though some cards have been reprinted in, in, uh, across the Ravnica uh, blocks. Okay, so there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, then it comes also with a little sticker that you can put maybe on your laptop or something. Nice. For some reason, the Boros one had two, and I was hoping that every single one of them would have two, but no, the other ones uh, have been correct. A deck box, I'm not going to crack it now. Then you have a copy of Nif Mizet, but I think this is the Nif Mizet from Ravnica 1, from Ravnica City of Guilds. Yeah, because you tap to draw a card. That's not what you do with Nif, Nif Mizet in Ravnica 2. And Ravnica 3 is a 3 blue, 3 red, which I'm not that fond of. This is still a 6 drop. But yeah, if you tap it and you draw a card, I mean, what's there not to like? And it is a flyer. I think it's fine. It's good. Uh, I think of the three, I like the Ravnica 2 one the best, because you ping and draw a card. I think that's what you do. You hit your opponent for one and you draw a card. Something like that. Okay, so I'm going to go through the cards in the deck. Uh, this guy is pretty good. I like him. I've played him online. And uh, he's got a gigantic butt. He's already a 0 8, and he's a trampler. So you gotta figure ways to cast lots of instants and lots of sorceries to give him the plus X plus 0. Okay? So you gotta have a lot of mana, and you gotta, and you gotta be able to pump it. But yeah, I think it's a great card. I, I would keep it. And uh, of course, I'll, I'll mention a few other things that I've mentioned in every other video, but maybe this is the only one you'll ever watch. So I'll just, I'll, I'll just give you that here. Uh, they did a good job where the cards that have that are from Guilds of Ravnica have the Guilds of Ravnica symbol, and then everything else doesn't. And I think that's a very quick way to determine if you're a new player for the, the cards that are not lands, which ones you can play in standards and which one you can't. Uh, this entire deck is modern playable. There's nothing in here that's banned in modern. Okay, so then. Uh, Tibor and Lumia is a 4-3-3, and this is great. It's a commander. I may make a casual commander deck out of this dude. Uh, when you cast a blue spell, uh, target creature gains flying. When you cast a red spell, this thing deals one damage to each creature without flying. That's not bad, and it's still a 4-3-3. Three, three. 
I don't know. Gets a lot of things flying. That's not bad. I'm not sure I would make a Commander Degato, but I'll keep it. 5-4-4 uh, four, four Flyer with Haste, and you may cast uh, Sorcery Spells as though they have Flash, so it turns every Sorcery Spell into an instant. It's a little heavy in this deck, and I wouldn't keep it in this deck. Uh, if I made a Commander deck, I'd put it in. But I remember not being too fond of it when it was in Standard, because it's a little on the heavy side. 7-3-5 Flyer, uh, each instant and sorcery spell you cast uh, has replicate. Um, yeah, copying the spells. That's not bad, but I would take it out too. This guy is in. I mean, Mizian Mortars, my god. Overload for six, and you get to do it um, for all. So instead of saying Mizian Mortars deals four damage to target creature you, can, you don't control, it deals four damage to all creatures you don't control. That's amazing. An amazing card. Okay, two drop enchantment with two, two uh, one blue, one red uh, casting triggers. Adding counters, taking off counters, dealing damage, drawing cards. What's not to like? Uh, char, three drop, four damage uh, to any target. Any target can mean uh, op opponent. Yeah, I'll take it. Then, uh, with uh, Quasi-Duplicate, you create a token as the copy of target uh, creature you control. Then this goes in your graveyard with Jumpstart. You can discard something, maybe like a land that you didn't need. Boom, you get to do it again. Yes, Jumpstart is fantastic. Uh, Ravnica 1 card, Cerebral Vortex. 3 jump, instant, target player draws 2 cards. And then, you get pink for 2. I'll take it. Sure, why not? Card draw. We need it. Everybody needs it. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, take an extra turn after this one for three drop. Now, I love extra turns, but I think there are better things to do with that with that slot. <laughs> Invoke the Fire Mind. Draws X, X cards and deals X damage to any target. I'll keep it. Then you've got your tokens. Of course, uh, this deck is all about instants and sorceries, so it's going to have a large suite of instants and sorceries. So these are weirds, and then these are goblins. Hold on. I'm going to stop right here and make a second part. The mailman is knocking on my door.